Craig, your reaction? Uh, a 2 1 defeat in the Emirates FA Cup first qualifying round replay, which brings our interest in the competition to a close. Yeah, it's a bittersweet feeling to be honest with you because kind of like kind of really fault the lads. Like I was saying, Tuesday night games last season, we were getting turned over by no disrespect relegated teams. And then this season we've come down and I keep saying it, Warren, and one of the best in the league. We've been in the playoffs two of the last three seasons, playoff final. And we've gone tour to tour with them and again naivety on our part. And we probably won't see it as that, but we've we've in a sense gifted them gifted them the second goal where we've we won top second half again first half same as Saturday. V were on top, we could have gone in more than one nil up. But then second half we've come out exactly what I said at half time and couldn't fall from the VAT. We've gone back to one one, we're putting the pressure on and then we just couldn't be naive. We just couldn't be naive and and one one naivety leads to another one, leads to another one and it's in the back of the net and, and we're getting punished for it but Rightly so, really. You can't just keep being like that against good quality players like Warrington have and guys we have. And I'm a bit of a crack record when we get beat, and people think probably sour grapes, but it's not. But like if you watch our goals conceded, we've got we've got to come up with something. Yeah, I'm guessing the most frustration stems from that two-minute period where we found an equaliser which started well in the second half. We kind of looked on the front foot and then as soon as we scored within about two minutes we, we conceded at the other end and it just takes the wind out of your sails, doesn't it? Of course it doesn't, to be honest, deja vu. Again, ten men here last season in the league. We scored a goal one nil up and we conceded two straight away. We've, we've, got to be, we've got to be a bit more streetwise, I think, as well. And, and just... And this is not nice, it's not great football, but just keep the ball in their half. Like, put them under pressure. Teams just conceded. Put them under pressure. And then again, we don't. We try and play out in, in, in an area where we, we don't. And it ended up, being a, ended up being a free kick. And then we've been done by a 1-2 and then a, it looked like a free header. So it's, I'm gutted for the lads as well. I'm gutted because they've given everything here tonight. Like I said, we've gone toe-to-toe. -to -toe. It's a long travel. And we, we were that close again, but it's our downfall at the same time. Yeah, last question. It was um, for for large parts of that game. It was a thoroughly decent away day performance, wasn't it? From from ourselves, we looked. Of course, it composed was composed and calm. We, we set the we set the tone on Liver's Edge two weeks ago on a Tuesday night. It's a hard, it's hard for any team. Hats off to any team on a Tuesday night about win. But last season, we we didn't have anything really. We we huffed and puffed against teams. Like I said, we went down to win Albion, who were basically relegated at the time and. And they battered us, and, and you think, God, but then this season we've come out and we're, we've been good again. We've got beaten night, fair enough. Warrington's a really good team, but we've matched them, choose a night game, long travel. And again, our, for me, they might look at it differently, obviously, but for me, it's it's our own downfall, it's our own naivety, and, and not not being streetwise again. Like, we've got to. We've got to we've got to punish teams because they punish us and if a minute we if a minute we not. 